Sulodexide is a glycosaminoglycan with antithrombotic properties. The future role of sulodexide is possibly as an agent to prevent recurrent venous thromboembolism in those at higher risk of bleeding with warfarin and novel oral anticoagulants. Properties of sulodexide correspond to a mixture of heparin and dermatin sulfate having pro-fibrinolytic properties and anti-inflammatory activity demonstrated in vitro. It has antioxidant and anti-glucotoxic effects which make it potentially beneficial in the treatment of diabetic kidney disease. Sulodexide has been shown to reduce mural thrombus formation and total mortality in myocardial infarction. It has been reported to cause regression of carotid plaque in a patient when used in conjunction with pravastatin and antiplatelet agents in a dose of 500 lipidic units for 20 days a month for 3 years. Sulodexide releases lipoprotein lipase and reduces circulating lipid level like heparin. Hence, the dose can be measured in lipidic units. But unlike heparin, it has a longer half-life and can be administered orally. Sovet study showed that sulodexide given after discontinuation of anticoagulation reduced the risk of recurrence of unprovoked venous thromboembolism without an increase in bleeding risk. A meta-analysis has also documented that sulodexide produces significant reduction in blood pressure, especially in hypertensive subjects, possibly related to its effects on endothelial function and sodium hemostasis. But this effect needs further evaluation in larger prospective studies. The drug is a potential therapeutic option for chronic venous insufficiency including venous ulceration and prevention of venous thromboembolism. It has a low rate of major bleeding complications. Initial set of references on sulodexide. Second set of references on sulodexide. Final set of references on sulodexide. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.